Now we have our algebra of functions uh, where we want to combine functions. And we can combine functions through addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. I have two functions here so I can show you what that looks like. So on this one, let's go ahead and add f plus g of x. And how do we do that? Well, f plus g of x is the same thing as f of x plus g of x. We know what our f of x function is. It's listed up there. So let's just substitute what we know the function to be plus the g of x function, which we know that to be. And I like putting parentheses around these so we kind of get a sense of what the two functions are and also to keep them separated in case we have a, a, a distribution of a negative coming on up at some point in time. All right, those are f of x minus g of x. Let's look to combine terms. So I'll remove any parentheses since the parentheses are not mathematically needed. Combine like terms. Typically, we'll put the highest square or the, the highest index to begin with. So we have x squared. Combine my x's to be 3x. And combine my constant, a negative 3. And so there we have is we have the, the two functions, f of g of x, added together to form a new function, which is the additive of those two functions.